welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Ruby. I film pink, glam, and girly videos. So if that's something that you're into, don't forget to subscribe and join the pink and glam family. So for today's video, I have something a little bit different and new for my channel. I kind of wanted to start a new series here where I review perfumes or I do perfume reviews. So lately, I have been wanting to add some perfumes to my collection so i've been kind of like shopping around for perfumes and i thought a fun thing that i can do is kind of review those perfumes with you give you guys my thoughts my recommendations of whether or not they're worth it especially some of the perfumes that we usually find in ross burlington tj maxx marshall's just to see if those are even worth it so Let's jump right into the video and see what perfume I reviewed today. All right, so as I said, I kind of want to do a little series here in my channel where I review perfumes. So recently, I have been wanting to add more perfumes to my collection, as well as I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone and try out scents that maybe I wouldn't have gravitated towards before. So I just kind of want to start trying out new scents, want to start adding new perfumes to my collection, and I thought while I'm on the hunt for more perfumes, more scents, as I'm getting them, I could probably do a review. I can give you guys my thoughts on it, whether I think they're worth it or not, and see if that would help you guys out if you're also looking to add into your collection. So... I was thinking that what I can do is rate uh, each perfume that I get in four different ways. One would be rating the overall scent. Um, and then the second rating would be the packaging itself, whether it's a cute package or not. Uh, the third rating would be the potency of it, whether it's a strong scent or a kind of not so strong scent. And then the fourth rating would be the overall rating for the perfume um taking everything into consideration so i'm going to be doing ratings from one to five all right so the first perfume that i'm going to be reviewing is a perfume that i ended up finding at burlington in one of my shopping halls so i ended up finding the juicy couture we play blooming babe and this one is the 0.5 fluid ounce so like I said I found it at Burlington and it was $19.99 um, I believe they also have it at Ulta and at Amazon the same size the 0.5 uh, fluid ounce for $37 and then I also did find it at Walmart for around 25 to 26 dollars uh, so if you do find it at burlington or ross you do end up saving um some money since it's usually between the range of like 26 to maybe 37 if you buy it in other stores so um the notes that it says that it has it indicates that it's part of the citrus family which I'm more of like a sweet floral scent. I prefer those type of scents. Um, but like I said, I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone. So I thought even though it says that it's part of the citrus family, I might kind of like it. I mean, it is some sort of fruitiness maybe. Um, and then so it says the top notes are Italian bergamot, sun-drenched neroli, and then the middle notes are honeyed lemon fig, gold gala lily, and sunny poppy flowers. And then the base is cashmere woods, citrine musk, and cedar wood. So, I mean, this is definitely kind of out of my comfort zone. I usually like really fruity or florally scents. This seems like it's going to be definitely a lot more on the citrus side um so we'll see let's open it up and check it out so right off the bat when i open the box i'm not sure if it's spilled or or if it's that strong but 
I do get a pretty strong citrus uh, scent. It smells very lemony, at least in the box. The box smells very lemony. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. It has kind of like a yellow goldish undertone here. And now I do believe that these are actually part of kind of like a set or not necessarily a set, but you could do, you can pair them with other uh, Juicy Couture perfumes. So they have this, it's called, it's called the Play Collection. So it looks like it's the first layering collection. You're, they have four different fragrances. They have the Blooming Babe, which is this one. Then they have the Sweet Diva, the Sparkling Rebel, and the Decadent Queen. And it seems like what you can do with these scents is pair them with each other. You obviously buy them separately, but um, if you do end up buying all four of them, you could pair them with each other to mix the scents, which I thought that was really interesting. I haven't really heard of anything like that where you have various different scents that are meant to be mixed with each other or worn alone. So I think that I am going to be on the hunt for the other three play um, collections of these perfumes. I believe there's a pink, a purple, and a blue. So I think I'm going to definitely be on the hunt for them, especially at Burlington and Ross where I can get them for like $19 uh, or $20. But uh, back to the bottle. <laughs> so the bottle's actually really pretty. I do like this kind of like big diamond at the top. The color, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the yellow color, but it's okay. I know that it's part of kind of like a different collection that has other multi uh, various different colors, so it's okay. Um, now... I believe that this is supposed to come with a charm. From what I've seen, it's supposed to come with a charm. I believe it's supposed to come kind of like with a J charm. It should be like kind of right here hanging out. And it comes with a, supposed to be a J or a JC rhinestone charm, which this one didn't come with it. I'm wondering if it's because it was from Burlington that the charm isn't there, but all the pictures that I have seen online have the um, charm, and it's this specific one, same size, the 0.5 uh, fluid ounce. It looks like it still has it, but I'm not sure. Um, I would have liked it to have the charm. I think that would have given it kind of a little pizzazz for like the Juicy Couture uh, perfumes, usually they do come with some sort of charm. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's test it out. I have to spray it. So let's first spray it. I definitely smell citrus. Oh yes, definitely smell citrus. It's very lemony. I can smell the lemon a lot. But then I also get a hint of that bergamot and that floral. I believe it said that it had lily. I think one of the notes, yeah, gold gala lily. I definitely smell the lily. So let's test it out on my skin. See how that kind of changes usually when you put it on your skin um, it is different than when you spray it kind of in the room so right off the bat it's so it's giving me that scent that cheaper perfumes kind of give off where it's starting to make my nose get a little bit tingly so Something for me is that I have allergies, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't necessarily um, grown my perfume collection. That's because my nose is super picky. I get allergies. I can't really stand a lot of 
uh, scents. And so I always have to be very careful with my scents because I will end up sneezing constantly. My nose will be irritated. And usually with perfumes that are a little bit like on the cheaper side, um, they have a very particular chemical -y smell that ends up really, really irritating my nose. And with this perfume, when you first spray it on, it smells a lot like that chemical -y scent that kind of irritates my nose. But I can feel that it's starting to go away. It was just like that first initial um, spray, but it seems like now it's starting to go away and it's starting to kind of give off its true scent, which I actually really do end up liking. It's so that citrus part definitely has gone away. I don't, I can smell it very faintly, but not as much as I smelled it when I sprayed it just kind of in the air. Um, with my skin, it doesn't smell that citrusy. I can smell more of the um, golden gala lily and the cashmere. I can definitely smell the cashmere now and more of the citrine musk. This reminds me more of like a going out type of um, scent where I would use this scent more at nighttime if I'm going out with the girls. Um, not necessarily a, a date night type of perfume. More of like a night out with the girls. You just kind of want to smell good. N nighttime. It's not necessarily uh, too fruity or florally. It's not more of like a daytime perfume. But I actually, I actually really do end up liking this. Even though it's on the um, citrus family I feel like on my skin and um kind of my body uh chemistry it doesn't smell too much like citrus it's smelling a lot more like that lily and I can definitely smell the cashmere which I actually do end up liking the cashmere smell it's very subtle, but I actually really do like it. All right, so on to the final review of the Juicy Couture perfume. So I kind of let it sit on my skin for 30 minutes. I ended up kind of taking a break, going to get something to eat, and I kind of let it sit on my skin for 30 minutes just to kind of get a hint or a sense of what the potency would be as well as the longevity of the perfume. And so for my final reviews, starting off with the scents, um, I'm going to give the scent itself a three out of five. I felt that I originally thought that I wasn't going to end up liking it because it indicated that it was part of the citrus floral family. And I'm not much of a citrus person. I do like floral, but not necessarily too much of a citrus person. And so I thought it was going to be very citrusy. But much to my surprise, it actually didn't really have a lot of citrus smell to it. It did originally when you spray it kind of in the air, you could definitely get that hint of citrus. But once I sprayed it on my skin and then as I kind of let it sit there, the citrus smell went away and I smell a lot more of, I smell a lot more of the lily and the cashmere. It seems like those are the two uh, strongest scents that I can smell for this particular perfume. So I actually did end up liking that. I did like that it wasn't too citrusy. It wasn't too strong in the citrus. And I really did end up liking the cashmere. That's something I wasn't sure if I was going to end up liking, but I did like the cashmere smell. So that was surprising. So for scent, I would give it a three out of uh, five. Then for the packaging itself, I'm going to give it a two out of five. I feel like for it being a Juicy Couture perfume, I kind of expected it to be a little bit more girly. And I also, like I said, um, I had seen online that usually they come with like a little charm. 
and this one did not come with a charm i'm not sure if maybe that's the reason why it was in burlington and that's why it was cheaper in burlington because it doesn't come with the charm but i would have liked it to come with the charm so i'm gonna dock a little bit of points there but also just because it just it doesn't scream out juicy couture to me usually juicy couture per um not purses perfumes uh they usually have like big bows or they have charms i feel like they're very girly and this one's just not really screaming out juicy couture girly for me so i would give the packaging a two out of five it's also one that i wouldn't necessarily just display so two out of five for packaging um and then the potency of the perfume i'm also going to give it a two out of five I feel that, so I let it sit on my skin for 30 minutes and I could smell it. I definitely do smell it, um, mostly kind of like when I move around my hands, but it's not going to be a perfume where you definitely can smell it on someone. If you're walking, usually like when you're walking by and you can smell their, their perfume, this is not going to be one of those. Um, you're going to have to do a couple of sprays to be able to really have a really potent smell on you. Um, for me, it's very subtle. The smell is very subtle and um, it's not that strong. So for potency, I would give it also a two stars out of five. And then my overall rating on the perfume would be a three. Um, I did like the smell. I was surprised by the smell. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I actually was leaning more towards, I probably wasn't going to like it, but that kind of surprised me. Um, now what I would say about the scent and the smell is that when you first spray it, it does have a very strong chemical scent, like that kind of like cheap perfume type of smell. It is very, very strong at the beginning. You do feel like like you can kind of almost taste it in your mouth just because of how strong the chemical smell is. Um, so if you're someone that it has allergies, it kind of bothers them, this is one that you might not really like. Because like I said, when you first spray it, it's really strong. As it kind of starts calming down, you can smell it less as kind of the hours go by or the time goes by like right now I can smell very very little of the chemical um, smell I do still feel a little bit of it in my throat but not as bad as some of the other perfumes that I have smelled where it's just really 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 chemically and it just gives me really really bad allergies so far this one didn't necessarily do too much to my nose. I can, it's feeling a little tingly, but nothing too crazy. I think it's definitely one that I can, I can stand. But if you are very, very, very sensitive and get a lot of allergies with um, perfumes, this is probably going to be one that you might want to stay away from just because it does kind of give me a bit of um, the reactions within my nose or my throat. Um, but overall, like I said, a three um, out of five. I am interested in the other collections that they have. So this is a set of four different perfumes, I believe, in the uh, collection that they have. And I'm interesting, interested to see how the other ones compare to this one, as well as how they compare when you mix them, because it is something where they indicate that you are also supposed to be able to mix uh, the four different perfumes together and get different scents. So that is something that I am interested in and that I kind of do want to get it. So what I would say is, if you don't really have allergies and if you're looking for something new um, and you find it at Burlington or at Ross, definitely get it. I would say yes to it. However, going out of your way, getting it at Ulta, getting it at Amazon, getting it at that like over $25 um, price range 
it's not really worth it. I would skip out on it. I would only get it if I find it at Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx at like a discounted um, price. I, I don't think it would be worth the full price for this one. I would, I would end up skipping it. All right, love. So that was it for today's girly video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the new perfume review series that I will be doing on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't already to join the pink and glam family. And like always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are your favorite perfumes and let me know what perfumes I should try next, which perfumes I should be on the hunt for for my next review. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!